So we're back and we're recording a follow-up to our previous video and in this installment of how to use tiled we're going to be looking at the terrain brush and how to create terrain in your level that you are going to be creating for your video game portfolio project. So let's dive right in and take a look at how to use this tool to expand your map making repertoire. We're back at opengameart.org. This time we are going to be looking for tile sets that specifically have terrain features to them. And to do that, we're going to browse to 2D art like we did last time. And our search word is going to be terrain. And when we search for that, we're going to get a bunch of different hits uh, on tile sets that contain different terrains. And so Really what we're looking for uh, when we talk about terrain specifically is we're looking for tile sets that have both kind of this circular pattern like this grass right here, but then also uh, the grass and a ring around with the middle empty. And you can you notice that here as well with this lava. Notice that uh, there's a circle of it in the middle and then it's surrounding uh, an empty circle in the middle and with that those tiles we're going to be able to create a terrain brush so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download this and then we will go ahead and import it into tiled so I've downloaded the tile set and I pulled it up into Photoshop and you can do the same in Pixlr and what I did is I put a grid over top uh, that shows me every 16 pixels. And if you remember, we were defaulting to 16 by 16 tiles in our last video. And the first thing that I noticed is that when I look at these tiles, it appears as though they actually are 32 by 32. And watch what happens when I change the uh, pixel size of that grid over top. And you'll, you can see that they're gonna line up a lot better. Yeah, so now I've changed it to 32 by 32, and you can see that this is the default size of this tile. So it's very important when you download a tile set uh, to use, if you're using, especially if you're using multiple tile sets and you're mixing and matching, that you, if you're using a 16 by 16 tile, that you continue to use 16 by 16 tiles. If you're using 32 by 32, make sure to continue to use that size. Uh, if you don't, then you're going to run into all kinds of issues. So in this video, we're going to be focusing on 32 by 32 pixel tiles. Inside a tile, I'm going to create a new map like I did before, orthogonal because we're looking at square tiles. Um, down here in tile size, because we set our last one to 16, it's going to remember that we're going to need to change our tile size to 32 by 32. And then we're going to save this as terrain brush sample. All right, so now that we've done that, we're going to import that tile set that we used before. So I'm going to import that in, tile sets, and there it is, terrain. I'm making sure that it says that the width and the height are 32 and 32, zero margin and zero spacing. I click OK, and there's my tile set. And remember, I can use the control, holding down the control button and using the zoom, the scroll wheel on my mouse, I can go in and kind of get more detail, zoom in and out of that tile set. So to create a terrain brush, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to this icon right here that says edit tile set. And when we do that, it's gonna pull up a new tab up at the top, which is actually the tiles, and it's gonna allow us to do some editing of these. And what we wanna do is, I'm gonna zoom in here. Let's just take a look at this first one right here. First thing I want to do is I want to select one tile. I'm going to select this middle solid section right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select add terrain type and it's going to click and start a new terrain over here on the side. I'm going to call this uh, light rock. Now, once we've done that, you'll notice when I hover over these tiles, you'll see that kind of um, quarter circle appear in the corners when I kind of hover over. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw in where this tile 
is, where the stone actually is, and, and, and leaving where it's not blank. So for this middle tile, it's the whole thing. So I'm going to click and hold down, and it's going to allow me to kind of paint this whole tile in. Up top, that's kind of half of the tile. So I'm going to click and hold just on the bottom. This one is just a corner. And you can see doing this, I'm just going to paint around where my tile is. If I make a mistake like that, I can just press Control Z and it will undo. Now, likewise, I'm going to do the same thing here, except I'm going to paint the outside edges of this one like so. Now, with these tiles right here, I'm going to have a working terrain brush. And we're going to go back into the map and check out what that looks like. So through the magic of video fast forwarding, I went ahead and created a few more terrains following the exact same patterns. The only thing that I also did is um, for some of these, like let's look at the light rock, this middle section right here is completely filled in. And there was some other completely filled in sections down here. And so I, I used those as well. And what it's going to do is it's going to randomly choose one of those to fill in, which should add a little bit of um, an interesting effect. Uh, when we actually use the terrain brush. Now that this is all said and done, I'm going to go back to my map here, and I'm still looking at my tile set, but if I click on this terrain tab down here at the bottom, now I can see those terrains that I've created. So I'm going to use those in a second, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a random background, and I want there to just be grass. So on my objects, on my layers here, on my tiled layer, I should say, not object layer, my tiled layer, I've, I've named one grass, and I am going to come in here, and similar to how I did in that first video, I'm going to select uh, several different grass tiles, and I'm going to look around to see if there's even more that I can use. Maybe these ones as well. And I can add to a selection uh, that is not in a row by holding down control and clicking. So now I have all this grass. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit random, I'm going to hit fill, and then when I move this around, I have this random grass layer. Everything else I'm going to place on top of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer here, and I'm going to call a new tile layer. I'll call this one, um, I'll call this one grass two. And I'm going to use a terrain brush for this one. So I'm going to take random off. I'm going to take fill off. I'm going to go back to the stamping tool right here. I'm going to go into terrains and I'm going to select dark grass. Now, when I do that and I hover over, let me zoom in a little bit, you'll see this, uh, this grass right here. And when I click and hold, what it's going to do, based on that terrain brush I created, it's going to fill in grass like this and it'll have a nice kind of even pattern for me uh, so that's cool and it saves a ton of time of having to do all that by hand and I can kind of if I really want to get specific uh, and do the fine details around the edges I can hold down control and that'll shrink the selection a little bit so then I can I can do things like that and add just uh, a little bit more fine control to what I'm doing here. I like the look of that. Perfect. Close that off. Sure. All right, now I have a grassy field. If I wanted to put some rock over it, I could do the same thing. Select light rock here. And now we can see that I have rock. Perfect. And I can kind of surround this grassy patch with that. Uh, and that is a very simple way to create terrain effects very quickly on your map. Uh, and now if I wanted to put some stuff over top of this, again, I'm going to create another layer, new layer. We'll call this one uh, foreground, all the objects in the foreground. I'll go back to my tile set, and there's some interesting things that I can put in here. Let's see, let me zoom out a little bit like this right here. I can put over top and you'll notice because it's on the top layer and because I set the transparency color when I imported that tile set, now that's going to sit on top of that right there. Put it in this spot right there. 
And there's some other things that I can do. For instance, uh, there's some some grass patches right here. Some some of these dark grass patches. I can kind of fill those fill those in as like detail work. Do the single ones. There we go. I actually put those on the wrong layer. I put those on the foreground layer, which is a, a, a bad mistake, but that's okay. I should have put it in the grass 2 layer. If you make a mistake like that, you can always press Control Z and undo it. So that's how you use the terrain brush to create background terrain very quickly and very easily. And it should add quite a bit of flavor to your map. And then I can start putting different objects on top of this. I can import another tile set with just objects like houses, fences, uh, whatever I want to create. So the rest, students, is up to you. And this is your course manager, Eric Dilliman, signing out once again. I wish you all luck.